my problem was that i was just taking on projects and obviously you can't fix anyone you can never change a person and yeah people people really use you they will take from you but they can't give hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is precious and here is today's diary entry before i begin guys please do not forget to subscribe to this channel like the videos and also comment i would really love to hear your thoughts and opinions about the things that i'm talking about anyways so today i would like to talk about something called a saviors complex or the saviors complex um it's a personality disorder and it's something i discovered about myself three years ago so what led to the discovery was my father's passing okay? when my father passed uh during the week of preparing for his funeral there were people that i believed were very close to him or at least people that he went out of his way to help where when we were like you know chilling as a family and everyone else all those people could talk about was what my father did for them and what he was planning to do and not in the sense that they appreciated everything that he did for them but in the sense that they are sad that all those things are now gone so during all those conversations um i saw myself in my father because we were like i've always known that we are similar like we are very very similar personality wise and um also he raised me so um so so it was that thing of saying like you know what i really just don't want to find myself at the end of my life uh dead and everyone is just talking about the things i was gonna do for them like just taking and taking and taking and taking from me right without considering that maybe they should have gave something to me but all they're talking about is what they were still gonna take away from me and obviously all that made me think about previous relationships friendship wise family wise um and also dating relationships uh, i needed to just sit down and ask myself why is it that i'm always frustrated with those people i feel alone in those relationships and yeah what is it that i'm doing that leads me to feel all those feelings so what literature says that um obviously uh, a severe complex is different from people pleasing um which is something i'm definitely not i've never cared to fit in i have never fit in in my life i never cared to fit in i always stand my ground i always um stand firm to my beliefs and i always stand up for myself i'm never afraid to say things that i know that will make people uncomfortable if i believe that it is right and it is the truth i that's i stand up for myself that's me so i've never really been a people's pleaser a people pleaser and i believe that is why it was it took me so long to realize or a, oh i actually have a severe complex ne? um so anyways literature says that it is a white knight syndrome which means that you have a need to save people by fixing their problems you insist on helping even when those people do not ask for your help uh because you believe you know exactly how to handle uh, other people's problems regardless of their desire to work on the problems themselves and uh, it says that when you have this problem you might believe that helping other people is your purpose 
which is something I completely believed. I really tried to convince myself what I, I am. Actually, my baby name is Malitema, which means mother of the nation. Basically, I bring people together. Basically, I, you know, I mother people. So I, I got to a point because I would help out people and whenever I needed them, they would not be there. I convinced myself that, you know what, maybe my purpose in life is to help and maybe that's what <laughs> everyone spoke into me when they gave me that name ne? and also they say that you spend so much energy trying to fix others that you end up being bent out yourself which is something i have experienced so much and um what it looks like is that uh it says that in relationships ne? Number one is vulnerability attracts you. I can't even think of a guy I've dated that I did not feel like he needed me to be there for him. He needed me to just help him out. And we're not talking about finances. We're talking about emotions. Ne? Um, so I felt drawn to people who have had more than their share of troubles so in life i have a lot of empathy for others who are suffering and i have a need to want to take away their pain um this i think when i was thinking about it i remember that um i used to tutor someone and when the interns were sitting together he said one thing i know about one thing you should be a shot off of precious is that she will stand up for you so i guess it has that thing that i want to take away people's pain you know how intense can be abused in the workplace and i just oh my god i felt the need to just want to rescue them from that now number two says you try to change people so it comes in a sense of believing that you know what's best for those people what's best for whoever you're trying to help out and um for me it was that thing that like i said i got into relationships friendships dating relationships family wise i'm just it, it's just gonna bounce uh between those three i got into relationships and you know i was drawn to those people because of their brokenness and i also felt like you know what if maybe they find a new hobby their lives will be better if maybe they changed a certain attitude their lives would be better because that's what worked for me whenever i was whenever even it, it still works for me today whenever i feel worn out i feel drained and all those i know or whenever i feel lost i know that if i just focus on a certain hobby of mine it could be hiking it could be gym it could be making soaps i come back to who i am i i, I then start finding my, my 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 center and i'm able to then just start being able to just give myself to life you know to just start living basically so yeah I, I i i i just would get into relationships with people that were broken and or were lost and i just felt like you know man i mean i can help you out if you change your attitude if maybe you just find something that centers you you gotta be fine number three says you always need to find solutions so i always cared more about fixing problems that my loved ones are dealing with and i think within like auto, like actually automatically whenever i encounter a problem in my life my mind goes to yeah okay there's a problem but boom what could be the solution how do i fix this and that's just how I deal with things, which is also a problem because um, I don't process things as they happen. I will end up processing them later. And when it comes to other people's issues, loved ones, 
um they tell me their problems and automatically i think of a solution i don't think okay maybe i need to comfort this person maybe i need to give them days to just process whatever they're going through maybe i need to give them time to just cry it out i always think yeah that's a problem but now let's let's move to a solution eh? let's let, let's move to a solution and actually i think recently um i've been working on this obviously for a while uh just trying to be conscious of of this thing about myself so that i don't live within it but um i notice it as soon as, as it happens therefore i can maneuver it and i got into i actually started dating someone recently and within a month of dating they encountered a problem and um so the person came to me and they vented right as they were venting i came up with solutions they didn't ask for solutions but now i was just coming up with solution ideas in jay of resolving the issue so i came up with ideas immediately like the person wanted to vent and they wanted to feel sorry for themselves for a while but in that moment i just went solution 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 and i, I wasn't like i wasn't conscious of it and then later on the person came to me and they were like um you know what i like about your precious i said what they said you're solution based ne? and I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, you're always thinking of solution. Whenever they present their problems, my mind already, like, you know, you're always thinking solution, solution, solution. You don't want to dwell on things. And obviously that kind of just went like, light bulb, as in, okay, you did it. Number four says that um, people with a severe complex make excessive personal sacrifices. And this one, a colleague slash friend, I don't know if he considers me a friend, a colleague slash friend, <laughs> a colleague slash friend made me conscious of it. Um, so with this one, it means that you, 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 you don't just help people when you have the time and resources and resources to help them out, but you bend over backwards to help those people because you believe it is the right thing to do it's like you have you, you feel like you must help out ne? you sacrifice your personal needs and you overextend yourself in order to take care of people and oh my goodness the oh my goodness this one uh, this one the moment the person made me conscious of it i was like no there's no denying this there's no trying to just maneuver it this is me and um them right so um for example ne? whenever a family member calls me and they be like oh my god I'm in trouble. I need like 500 rands tomorrow. And I still have like maybe 10 days to go to my month end. And I know what I, in my day-to-day uh, -day spending, uh, that is the only amount I have left. I will sacrifice it. When I know that I am in need, but um for example let's say we are driving we are going on a road trip as a family or as friends or even like uh, with a boyfriend i've done it with a boyfriend and we have to drive for like 300 400 kilometers ne? and the person will be like yeah you know uh my car can't i, I don't even question it i'll be like that's fine we can use my car I don't think about the tires i don't think about everything else i'm like yeah no we can use my car because i feel like nope probably they have more car trouble than i do and during those drives i would drive all the way if the person doesn't say oh my god let me help you out i'll just drive and they can even fall asleep at the back because 
I don't know somehow my mind goes maybe they're tired maybe you know because I think I couldn't I, I don't know I just believed that um, if they really had the energy they would donate it to me they would help me out so if they're not offering to help it means they really don't have energy they are really tired or whatever and I would just drive all the way and even with other cousins whenever they would call me and be like oh my god I need five for example I need 500 friends by tomorrow and I know I still have like 10 days to go to month end and the 500 is all I have left in my day-to-day -day spendings I would be like you know what it's fine I'll give it to you if I happen to need money in those uh, 10 days I will go into my savings sacrificing and later on you find you learn or a, it wasn't really a need it was a want but you always think oh people need it more than me a five says that uh, when you have a severe complex you think you are the only one who can help ne? it means that you believe you have the ability to rescue someone or improve someone's life ne? so you take on a parental role uh, by correcting or patronizing people and yeah correcting I always corrected people a lot reflects um, for example even with spelling I am not even good guy English I am still learning how to speak English but <laughs> I remember that the moment someone uh, pronounced <sighs> But I remember that some, whenever someone pronounced something wrong, immediately I just went, ah, no, it's not one, two, three, four, five. For example, let's say Ohio. And I'd be like, it's not Ohio, it's Ohio. And that, oh, guys. But that one, I have to say that that one I have learned to control and I've noticed that I haven't done it in a very long time. And I know Ori, your people felt Ori. Oh, so she thinks she's better than us. And it wasn't like I wasn't doing it consciously. I wasn't even trying to like patronize people. I just felt like a need for things to go the right way, which is not my responsibility but somehow i took it on as my responsibility and then so how it affected me was obviously burnout you just feel like at the end of the week you are drained you're tired you are you just want to sleep all day you wanna it's not even depression but you just want your time alone you want to just breathe and because you're just taking on people's problems and trying to fix everyone and trying to fix everything for everyone when you don't necessarily have to and you just over extending yourself and you're using that little energy you have and now at the end of the week you have zero energy and um obviously number two it says that how it affects is that it disrupt relationships i think for a very long time I thought there was something wrong with me because friendships, relationships, family-wise, I just don't have, I, I, I didn't have good relationships with those people. I felt like, oh, maybe my cousins are just, why are they using me? Why are those guys just using me? Because I, not one guy I've dated could come to me and say, oh, you're horrible. They always say, you're a great person. You're such, you're my rock. But I can't say the same about them. When I needed them, there were no way to be found they were not my rock but they just bragged about how i'm the rock and that just frustrated me so much and i felt like oh maybe if they can see what support is they know what support is they know what having a rock feels like but they can't do it for me it meant or i'm unlivable my problem was that i was just taking on projects and obviously you can't fix anyone you can never change a person and yeah, people, people really use you, they will take, but they can't give. And yeah, so with all that, um, learning about it and trying to always be conscious about it and being aware of it so that every time I feel like, oh, this is, I'm, I'm definitely now in that severe complex mode. 
I'm able to recognize it and oh my goodness if I tell you Rory, the last three relationships I, tr I attempted to have was such a turn off so guy one um, I met him and within like two weeks of talking this guy was just telling me about how a woman is supposed to fix a man and i was like nope i'm not gonna be anyone's savior i was out the second guy the one that said Ori, he liked Ori. i'm always a solution based he just started trying to just dump on me and with dumping his issues on me it came with disrespect so he would do things and blame those issues and i was like you know what i'm not staying through this i'm out and the other one also the third one we dated and oh he just started telling me problems and how basically i like i just i can't i get turned off by a guy that i have to just or teach how to do things or whatever because I feel like you know what I'm an adult I know how to fix my life I know how to get the things that I want without anyone helping me and I'm not I don't want to put myself in a position where I have to help a guy like I don't know all I can do is just be by your side but if you want me to actively fix your issues that is like the biggest turn off and a guy that feels sorry for himself another turn off so yeah ever since i realized the worry the problem is me i want to fix so bad dating has been hard because it seems like people just don't want to f work on themselves they want someone else to come work on them and i'm just not doing that even with friendships I don't believe in oh this is just how a person is no I just believe that if you have something to say come to me and say it if you can say the fact that when and now you have to act nasty you have to act shady because well you can't say what you need like I I just I t I just I cut myself off from a lot of people so yeah um but ever since I realized the worry that is an issue that I had life has been easier and lighter so yeah guys don't forget to subscribe like and comment I'll uh, see you in another entry bye